so I, I kept this journal um, of all the places I'd gone. I was trying to remember that first day, and I remember it had just rained. So we, we get into country, and, and then we had the convoy into Ramadi. And the first thing is, yep, we got, we got attacked. That's literally, I, I wrote down, uh, convoyed all day, you know, got into Ramadi. We got hit. But, I, but the convoy there was uneventful. <laughs> Yeah, a convoy uneventful. We got into Ramadi. Yep. <laughs> I mean, that's just—I mean, that's just how things change. Oh, I was probably six or seven years old, and I saw this picture of these guys raising this flag on Mount Sirbachi, and I just was like, "That's what I want to go do." I don't know who these guys are. Found out they were Marines. Had no idea what a Marine was, and I was like, "Okay, well." And so from that point on, I, I, I studied everything and learned everything I could about the Marine Corps. And I was like, that's what I'm gonna go do. I'm gonna go be a Marine. I was 17 and uh, I wasn't even out of high school. My parents had to sign, it was June 12th, it was a Monday afternoon. Part of the, the program that I was hoping to be on is I wanted to be an officer, so you have to go to school. But uh, in all my reading about Marines, one of the things I found out is some of the best officers were enlisted guys. So I decided, well, if I enlist, go to the reserves, I'll get some experience, and go to school. I remember we'd taken some break from class, I think I was between classes or something. I remember going to the, the uh, bookstore to go get a snack, and I saw this plane crash into this building, and they were talking about it being this big jet, they thought, and nobody really knew, and then all of a sudden this other one crashes in, and I just knew we're going to war. I, I don't know who did this, but this is an attack. They told us, uh, well, we're not on the list for Afghanistan, but we're on the list for Iraq. So we were an artillery unit. They took, uh, I think it was three batteries, which is the equivalent of, you know, three companies. And they formed one huge mortuary affairs company. And we were told that we we're gonna be taking all sorts of casualties. And then they took a bunch of guys from our unit and we formed this heavy weapons platoon. And so that was, that, that's what I, I got to do. And so I was a 50 cal gunner. Man, things were going so fast during that invasion. I mean, we, I remember we would get a call, hey, get ready, we're, we're gonna go do this. And then, nope, that's changed now. This, oh, it, was just, it just seemed like there was just, things were going so fast. We went down to the Kuwaiti Naval Base and we started to prepare for our departure. So like, yeah, we gotta get ready to go home. We're uh, talking to these Marines and we're like, can you believe this? Like, what's going on? Like, why are we all leaving? Like, you know, trying to make sense of it. And our theory then was, well, maybe the Army's going to take over and stabilize the country and I don't know. And one of the guys, he'd been in for a while, <clears throat> he just looked at us, he goes, no. And he goes, whatever, whatever they're doing, it's not going to work. We're, we're pulling out too quick. And there's no stabilizing going on. He goes, we'll be back. And sure enough, we saw what happened. It just imploded. I think I brought about a lot of questions and uh, we definitely asked those questions and, and uh, I don't know that we'll ever have all the answers but uh, it was interesting and then going back and seeing you know just a lot of the things that we were doing just didn't seem to make sense you know if you're gonna win a war it didn't seem like we were really gonna win the war. You put the uniform on so now you're responsible to execute the policies of the nation, whatever they are, you know, and it doesn't matter how you think or feel about it, that's your job. But we're not robots. We think and we feel and we question. And it was interesting coming back too, hearing people, because you, you'd hear people say, man, so glad you went over there, thanks for serving, totally support you, but don't support the war. And that was just kind of this like, well, what are you, what are you, like, what are you saying? You know, it's almost like, I'm gonna slap you in the face, but at the same time, I'm gonna give you a handshake. For me, that really caused me to wrestle a lot. I, I met some of the brightest people, some of the, I mean, guys who have all sorts of degrees, guys who run businesses, guys, you know, um, smart guys. You get the, this mix of guys, you know, everything from police officers to business owners. They just wanted to know that they were doing something to make a difference. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on more videos from Central Oregon Daily News. 
And for more news from the high desert, just visit centraloregondaily.com.